Hello everyone and welcome back. I've got my new fish house in here in the workshop and I've been wanting to figure out if I can get a wood stove in here because when I'm out ice fishing like when Zach and I were out there uh, when was it I don't know two weekends ago we were fishing for maybe five hours in there but I could tell in my lungs after I got out of there that I had been in there with a gas heater going. It just, um, I could just feel it. One time Zach and I went out, this was a few years ago, but we had one of those sunflower heaters and it really affected me. I felt it was just the strangest feeling. I know I had carbon monoxide or whatever poisoning somewhat when I left and I do not want that to happen again. That was nasty and uh, it took three or four hours to recuperate from that. So I, I want to know if I can put a wood stove in this one here. And since it has the removable windows, I should be able to do it. I have that wood stove that I use when I go duck hunting, which is like a portable type wood stove, so I kind of want to get that one in there. And plus, you know, it's winter time and this is just kind of something to do. But if it does work, it'd be kind of nice because then you could actually, you know, put a skillet on top of there and cook or whatever. You know, you can't really do that with one of those little gas heaters. So the first thing I want to do is get one of these windows out. I'm going to set this whole thing up. Uh, it needs to dry out anyway, but I don't want to... Uh, I want to see if it'll work before I do it. I think size-wise I can get this to work. I'm actually going to use since everything is just velcroed in, I'm going to use a piece of, it's just a welding blanket. It's good up to, a, it says a thousand degrees. Um, I know you can get a wood stove pipe way hotter than that, but you're right there watching it. It shouldn't be a big deal. If I can make a piece of that the same size as the, uh, this clear plastic here, I bought Velcro. And I've seen them do, I've seen this done before in a similar way, but they didn't use anything metal. But I still think I can put a metal jack right here. I got a piece of double wall uh, five inch pipe. That stove is a five inch, that one that I use up duck hunting. And I could have just used just a single, you know, just a regular single wall pipe, but that's even safer. I'll use that to go through here. So, I mean, there's going to be absolutely no trouble with anything burning. And then I bought a couple different types of Velcro, and I'll just make a Velcro thing that I can pull the window out, shove it in. When I'm done with it, I can take it off and I can put the window back in. Now that I know that will work, I need to set the fish house up because the windows are, you know, they're at a set height. That wood stove is, you know, when you fold the legs out, that's at a set height. Then I have a piece of pipe that has the damper. Then I'm going to have to have an elbow, go out the window, another elbow, and go up. And if that stove is too tall, or anyway, I need to see if that will work before I go through all the trouble of making this. I don't want to have to go out and buy another. I could easily buy a smaller wood stove or make one or whatever, but right now I just want to see if what I have will work. That thing pretty much fills up most of that part of the workshop. Got it all set up here. Put a light up there. I'll go up now and I'll get that wood stove. Well, as you can see, that's a little bit too tall. I really didn't want to have to cut that stovepipe down, but I'll have to to make this work. I use that piece up at the tent all the time and it works perfectly, but it doesn't matter. You know, you're just going straight out the, the tent, whatever it is, stove jack in there. So if it's a little shorter, it wouldn't matter. And then I'll just probably make another one. Those five inch dampers are kind of hard to find. I know there's one place that's about a half hour away that has them. 
Otherwise, I just order them online. I'm going to try to keep this up kind of as high as I can, just any little bit of an upward. It'll draw just fine, just going a straight L and up. I mean, that's exactly what the wood stove in the uh, workshop does. It, has, it comes straight up, goes straight over three feet, and then it goes straight up, and that thing has worked perfectly for years. But if I can get a little bit of an upward slope on here, It'll be nice, so I think I'll cut this right about here. So Velcro was a good idea on paper, but I don't exactly know how that will... This will not get that hot, though. You know, all the wood stove heat is more down by the wood stove, but still, I would rather be safe than sorry, so <laughs> I'm going to put a wire in here just to hold this on in case everything were to come loose. This Velcro sticks pretty good, but I think if I like this and it works good, I would think I would want somebody to run a sewing machine, you know, or hand sew it just to hold it on really good, because when you start tearing it off and putting it back on, eventually I think that would separate, but right now we're just trying to see if we can get this to work.
I don't want that stove quite so close to the outside wall here. I mean, I could get it. It gets really close in the tent when I go duck hunting. And it doesn't get that bad, but anyway, I'd like it to be a little farther away. So I'm going to take in this one piece that we cut off, I'm going to crimp it. And uh, see how that works, just getting a little bit of a extension on here. Crimper is one of the tools I bought probably 20 years ago. I used it about three times, but I remember that it was in the toolbox. Well, so far I like it. I could have actually left that inside one maybe another inch taller, but everything is, is sloping uphill, so that'll be nice. That all looks pretty good. It's a little bit too much weight for me out there. I think I'll set up a metal tripod system to take that weight off of the because right now it's kind of pivoting on the stove and the last thing you want is some wind to come by and all of a sudden boom the hot stove pipe pops out of the stove and you're getting smoked out in there trying to get it back in something like that right there works pretty good that chain just wraps down around underneath one of those lips and uh, it holds up the weight I think that'll work pretty good uh, it would have been easier just having a four inch stove pipe. Uh, you know, I could have bought a different stove, but you know, you're spending another hundred bucks on a stove, or what, they're more than that actually, and they're small. And I could have put a reducer on top of this to go from a five inch to a four inch, but up at the tent, that stove runs a five inch pipe, and I did put one that went from a five inch to a six inch because six inch dampers are so much easier to find. And the biggest problem you have with that is when you get a slow burning fire and you get that creosote buildup, it comes down and you've got all those connections there and it comes out and it burns right on the stove, uh, right on the stove top and it's just horrible. So I definitely, you know, got rid of that and went back to a 5 inch. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Uh, you'll just have to wait and see whenever I can test that out. I can't do it in here. I will see you guys on the next video.